This is an American children's story written by L. Frank Baum. Find out what happens along the journey to find the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy lived in a little log house on a small farm in Kansas. She lived with her aunt and uncle and her dog named Toto. Everywhere that Dorothy went, Toto was right behind her. Sometimes, Dorothy and Toto would lie down in the grass and stare at the clouds. One day, the clouds grew dark and the wind began to blow. A tornado was coming. Dorothy, run to safety! shouted her uncle. Hurry! shouted her aunt. But Dorothy could not find Toto. Toto! Toto! Where are you? she yelled. The dog had run into the house and was hiding under the bed. Oh, Toto, I'm glad I found you! Dorothy exclaimed. We have to get out of this little house before... Before Dorothy could finish her sentence, the wind began to blow harder and faster. The tornado blew the little log house into the air. The little log house floated and floated. Finally, the house landed with a thud. Dorothy peeked out the window. She did not see the little farm or her aunt and uncle. Slowly and quietly, she and Toto tiptoed out of the house. What is that? Dorothy gasped. A pair of shiny silver shoes was sticking out from under the little log house. Suddenly, two witches appeared. They wore beautiful dresses and pointy hats. We are the good witches of the North, and you are in Oz, they said. Thank you very much for defeating the Wicked Witch of the East. Dorothy was very confused. She did not save anyone. She looked at the shiny silver shoes peeking out from under her little log house. Her house landed on the Wicked Witch of the East. Excuse me, good witches of the North, Dorothy said. How can Toto and I get back home to Kansas? Well, that's simple. Just follow the yellow brick road until you find the Emerald City. That's where the Wizard of Oz lives. We are sure he will help you. Then, the good witches removed the shiny silver shoes from the feet of the Wicked Witch of the East and handed the shoes to Dorothy. Dorothy, they said. These shiny silver shoes are magical. You never know when they will help you. Dorothy put on one shoe. Then the other shoe. Goodbye! Thank you! Dorothy waved to the good witches. She and Toto headed down the yellow brick road to find the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy and Toto walked, and walked, and walked. The duo stopped for a break in front of a huge wheat field. Someone said, Hello there! Dorothy did not see any other people on the road, but she did see a scarecrow. She had never heard a scarecrow talk before. Hello, scarecrow. My name is Dorothy. I am following the yellow brick road to find the Wizard of Oz. Would the Wizard of Oz be able to give me a brain? My head is filled with hay, so I'm not very smart. Scarecrow said, and he started to cry. Don't cry, Dorothy said. Come with me and Toto, and you can ask the wizard for a brain. So Dorothy and Toto and Scarecrow followed the yellow brick road to the Emerald City. <laughs> 
The trio stopped when they got to a big forest. They heard a small voice calling to them from the trees. Dorothy and her friends carefully walked into the forest. The small voice was coming from a tin man. Hello there. Could you pour some oil on me? My body is all rusty and I can't move a thing, Tin Man exclaimed. Dorothy poured the oil all over Tin Man. Woo! I feel alive again. Thank you very much. Where are you and your friends going? Dorothy told him all about the Wizard of Oz. Would the Wizard of Oz be able to give me a heart? I want a warm heart instead of this cold, hard one. The Tin Man said as he knocked on his chest. Come with us and we can ask him, shouted Dorothy. So Dorothy, Toto, Scarecrow, and Tin Man followed the yellow brick road through the forest to the Emerald City. A lion jumped in front of Dorothy and her friends with a loud roar. Toto growled at the lion, and the lion tried to bite him. Dorothy was so surprised that a big lion would pick on a little dog. Dorothy scolded the lion and gave him a big kick in his side. The lion began to cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please don't be angry with me. I'm afraid. Dorothy had never met a lion who was a scaredy cat and a crybaby. She told him about the Wizard of Oz helping her get home and giving Scarecrow a brain and giving Tin Man a heart. Would he be able to give me courage? The lion asked. I want to be a brave lion. So Dorothy, Toto, Scarecrow, Tin Man and Lion followed the yellow brick road to the Emerald City. The friends walked and walked and walked. When it was time to eat, Scarecrow picked fruits. When they needed to cross a river, Tin Man cut down trees to make a bridge and Lion swam across to help. The friends worked together and finally made it to the Emerald City. The entire city was green like an emerald. The mountains and buildings and even the sky were all green. Dorothy and her friends entered the castle to find the Wizard of Oz. A large stone face said in a booming voice, Why are you here? We came to ask for help from the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy said. The stone face replied, First, you have to defeat the Witch of the West. Then you can talk to the wizard. Dorothy's little log house had already landed on the Wicked Witch of the East. She and her friends headed to find the Wicked Witch of the West. But the witch used her magic powers and discovered Dorothy's plan to defeat her. The Wicked Witch of the West sent an army of evil monkeys to attack Dorothy, Toto, Scarecrow, Tin Man and Lion. As the friends fought off the monkeys, the Wicked Witch appeared to make sure Dorothy did not defeat her. <laughs> Dorothy picked up a bucket of water and threw it on the Wicked Witch. The water made the Wicked Witch of the West melt and disappear. So Dorothy, Toto, Scarecrow, Tin Man and Lion defeated the Wicked Witch of the West and went back to see the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy and her friends arrived at the Emerald City and asked to see the wizard. Instead, 
a little man in a big hat and striped pants stood before them. He said softly, "I am not a wizard. The people of Oz thought I was a wizard when I came down in a hot air balloon. I can still try to grant your wishes." The little man presented Scarecrow with an honorary college diploma. He gave Tin Man a ticking heart clock, and he gave Lion a special medal of courage. But what about me? Dorothy asked. You need to go see the Good Witch of the South," said the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy quickly ran to find the Good Witch of the South. The beautiful witch told her to click her heels together three times. Dorothy wasn't too sure what would happen, but she followed the directions. One, two, three. Just like that, Dorothy and Toto were back on the small farm in Kansas with her aunt and uncle, 